Hello and welcome to another episode of Games with Zane. We are playing EU4 The Third Rome. It's Muscovy. Let's just jump into it. Uh, we are recovering from our last war still. We finally got positive manpower instead of trying to re reinforce our existing armies. We are waiting for the war between the Great Horde and Kazan and all of their allies to finish so that we can maybe take a few territories from them get our power projection back up. We're holding off as long as we can to see about getting our manpower our manpower pool back up. Oh, it looks like that war just ended so now would be the right time but uh... Uzbek and Kazan, uh, Uzbek and the Golden Horde now have a shared border. That is a little ugh, unfortunate. How many men does Uzbek have? Uzbek has 15. Mm. I don't know, we're gonna have to wait on that. As much as I would like to have done it. Did I have cores on these? I did not, that is sad. I have cores there. Could, while they're down, go ahead and expand and finish off Kazan. They don't have any claims on that. Relic, Kazani, 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 Kazani. Uh, that may be what we do instead. Let's uh, go pick on the little guy. Kick him while they're down. Look at Kazan. Kazan. They have virtually nothing. I think that is the right move. Let's kick him while they're down. So we can continue to regain manpower, but also, at the same time, Continue to expand. And we will go ahead and call back you, since the tick has happened. And we will declare war on you. They have no allies, that's great. It's just them. Let's uh let's take Kazan as our target and you have war declared on you now let's go ahead and move in well they're down here even trying to get back to their own territory that's great I don't think I'll be able to catch them now let's split in half and take them we'll go there as well that's all we should need So they've made it back to their territory. Three. I can move there directly. May 13th, well let's wait two days. Let's wait one more. There we go. Now that we get the morale increase. Very nice. Very good. Right, moving around, let's detach a siege. We can't go that way. We can't go that way though. We will have to go all the way around in the Permian territory. Let's detach a siege and head around. We just can't get there. So let's. Well, we can maybe uh, collect a little money off of that. Same there. Let's 
perm going to help? I would think so. You guys can be aggressive. Cities demand old rights. Oh. I guess we will lose the legitimacy. So I think we've got a, a nasty modifier on regaining stability. Occupied more territory. Let's attach the siege there and move up. And why don't we go ahead and change this so that it's only got four? Oh, wait, what? Oh, wow, no, so they've all got to stay there. So you guys stay in place. I thought that it was only. A one, but it's a three. Well, let's bring it back so that we continue ticking on the siege. Merge up. When in fact, I should probably. No, he's already in the first army. That is the first army. So that's good. You guys are going to take them out? Good for you. We can help, I guess. Agent from Norway. Need a thousand men. No stack wipe, huh? Land attrition. That's very good. So you can move in. And just have the rest of your neighbors come as well. And we got the stack white. It's very good. We'll merge you and you. And that'll be it. Okay. I was wondering if they were non-reinforcing. I think that's only a thing in CK2. Uh, truce with Sweden. That's very good, so why don't we go ahead and tell Sweden, Hey guy, we would like to be friends. We will help you out. if you decide to rebel from Denmark. So now we've just got your capital to siege down. I'm sure they will completely surrender after that. It's getting close. Uh, tragedy strikes. Oh ho ho, that's a brilliant error though. Ivan has died. Alright. We may have a regency council, but woo! That is a great error. Let's uh, watch him die. <laughs> that's how the game is. It likes to tease you. Say, oh, oh, you, you like that. We'd like to show it to you. But now we're going to take it away. Yeah, we got all the territory. Who is this? Novgorod is upset. Golden Horde, Draver. I am okay with all of those. And while you're at it, you can revoke your previous cores. And I think that's all.
I don't know, that is a lot of aggressive expansion. Though most... Only Golden Horde is really getting a ton of it. Let's see, if we transfer this to... Perm. And this to Perm. Would Perm take them? Perm would take them. But I still get the same aggressive expansion. But that, that's okay. At least I am not having to core it myself. I'll have to pay for it eventually in Diplo points over time. It is 157. We have that. That's great. Now, Kazan is wiped off the map. So we'll core these. Very nice. Perm is being integrated. It will be a long time. When's our truce up? 79. It's not that long. But enough time for us to recover. Send them back to Moscow. You to Moscow, and you back to Novgorod. We will continue healing. Lots of Kazani Separatists. So it may be good, honestly, to leave these guys in the area in Kazan. How are they doing at 31? It's Kazan's manpower. Not great at all. So, Kazani Separatists are about to fire, so why don't you come back to the area? I expect you all to fire down here. Manpower down here just is, is nothing. Moldova. Independence supported. Uh, we have joined. Okay. That's very interesting. Let's see how Sweden is compared to Denmark. Our allies, Sweden, has 14,000. Our rivals. Sweden, where is Denmark? Has 18. So they're going to need the help. They do have uh, more manpower than Denmark. We can maybe assist you. We will see. It would be nice if you could uh, tell your armies to c to attach to one of the AIs and just let them go so that I could treat them like Condottieri. And where are you going? Further north, okay. I'll move there to help out. They are wrapping all the way around. Interesting. So we got 90 and Sammy, they're not going to go anywhere. Let's take a quick look at how many Kazani. 24,000. Ugh. That's a couple more than I would like. Is there anywhere that would support that many? No. Hmm. How 
So uh, we're still a good ways off of our manpower limit. Let me go ahead and raise a few cavalry in the area. So that's kind of what is needed here. And hope that it doesn't fire. Where are they going? They're just taking attrition. kind of helping out there. In fact, I should probably tell my vassals to not be aggressive, but to be siegers. We've got that one. And Sweden, I'll go ahead and transfer that to you. I have no need of it right now. Let's go there as well. Your armies are way up here just taking attrition in my territory. When that and that should prevent them from that, there's just a core ring that should prevent them from coming down into southern Russia. But who knows? The AI in the zone of control is not always fair. Merge you together. Yes, we've got four total. Where do we think they will show up? Uh, here. Here. Bulgar. Kazan. So why don't we go ahead and move you down to that one. Muscovy is occupied Holland. Let's transfer that to Sweden. And uh, it's my participation. I've got all the participation. No, they do. There we are. So I've got vassals working on that one. That's there. They are way over there. So what is this? This is level two. This is level two, and we've got another level two, and then a level one. As uh, they're not giving them access. So until they break that siege down, I'm probably not going anywhere. So let's uh, let's focus on Kazan. One would expect that to fire anytime soon. So there we go. That's actually good that they uh, they had one large one and one small one. Good, we can merge them together. Who is in charge? Let's pick the fighter and we will come up and back down. And we will give that the sieger. What are his? He does not have any siege ability, so let's let's maybe see about helping them out with the cavalry. They can hopefully move back and forth faster. 
I don't know. They're coming to get me, it looks like. Where are they going? There. I will be moving there as well then. Our stuff on the sea. Yeah, okay. Lost a couple sailors. So let's merge them. We've got how many here total? A lot more than they've got. Our army's under attack. We will do fine, we will just lose. Well, a lot of men. We need good rolls. Good rolls. Come on. Just barely. Wow. We won that as well. So now we're back to needing lots of manpower. Let's uh, have you guys hang out in Novgorod just to help out. At least to hang out. So what do they got to get just to defend their capital? They're doing that all right. Uh, we've got way more men than they have. So that's good. Maybe Norway will start getting siege down. Where did their army go? Agent from Norway. Yeah, I need 10,000 men again. Just like that. They are taking attrition because they are moving f through there. They're getting to Novgorod though. Alright. It looks like Sweden's got the brunt of that. Hopefully. I'm losing a few men. They lost more, though. They're just going to pound against a uh, succession of Crimean Khanite. Current heir will die. Mediocre one. Pretenders. Seek the support of the Ottomans. Interesting. It would be great if that siege would be done. Of course not. Libertas Ecclesiae. Foremost pillars make it clear that they need to contribute. Uh, lose 10 patriarch authority. Well, we don't have any patriarch authority right now. In 5 prestige. Loyalty and influence. Uh, do we have patriarch authority? If we do not, then we are going this way. Hmm. I say balance between the money now versus the money later. Let's go ahead and take the money now. Come on, siege, finally. Is this one that friendly is going to attach? What are your plans? You cannot go across because there is a blockade. But my vassals are doing a pretty good job of taking out Norway. National Epic. Uh, yeah, sure. Really prestige, that's a good thing. Let's, uh, let's get back to doing a spy network on Novgorod. See if we can't get a couple more of their provinces before our truce is up.
Oh, Sweden has left. I'm getting out of that. That is block. That's blocked by a fort. I guess that one and that one down there. I'm at the very least moving back to Stockholm. So that I am not in harm's way. Because I am certain they will come there with a huge army. What is this? That is a new territory and a new city-state. At least for me. Dith Marchin? Hmm. Okay. So yeah, they've been allowed to come back. I was looking like from here on out, Sweden, you're on your own. My vassals will help you, but my grand captain has died. That is a little sad. Oh, we can do morale of armies. That's very nice. And we can increase our military tech. That is, uh, what's our institution looking like? How much money would we need to embrace it? It won't even tell us. That is rather annoying. So that you can't start planning to embrace it before 10%. And yeah, Sweden was able to just walk straight through there like it was nothing. But I can't. I guess it's because this fort finally fell. Let's go help with some sieges. What's that? That is a one. That'll probably be the most use there. So you have any siege? No. We lost claim on a province. That's a little sad, but they have a claim there. So we may have to renew those claims with the Golden Horde eventually. But our bigger issue right now is getting rid of Novgorod. That helps a good bit. We still need more than 10,000 men. Family ties. 10 diplomatic power. Yarvasal is much happier with us. I'm pretty sure it's 80 to of independence. And our participation has gone up a lot. I'm sure it's because of our vassals. When they've got a huge old army. Verdun. It's Verdun. Are they a vassal or an ally? They're an ally. Let's see. That should be Hamburg. Yeah. It's Lubick. Our queen has died. That is unfortunate. So now that means we are going to have a normal regency instead of a queen regency. We've gained some core provinces. Denmark is likely to get that before. We can get either one of these. <laughs> Norway is being uh, very much abused in this. How much are we losing? Ugh, a fair amount. So that's probably going to fall this tick. Kazan is now a core. Very good. Yep, that fell this tick. So they now, uh, they don't have free reign. It's not good. Are you going to go down there to try and siege it back down, even though you've got the big armies here? Gained a core. 
that one has fallen, they're going to be stupid and attack. No, they're having to siege that down. It's good. Be great if this would eventually fall. Renaissance Prince. Yay! So, yeah, we will take the ducats. And we will pay for some Renaissance. Yay, that's finally fallen. Let's see about getting. Oh, that's wasteland. So that's why no one's interested in it. Is that wasteland too? It is. So all of Norway, except for Iceland, has been <coughs> sieged down. I'm definitely not getting involved with that. If I can get around. To come help with the siege again. I, I, I can do that. No, don't do that. Head there to help with the siege. We've got, we've got another idea. What's that idea? Construction cost. It's really that uh, inflation reduction that would be great. We'll go ahead and do it. I don't expect to get any territory out of this. Yeah, it looks like uh, Fortress is under siege up there. How is Denmark doing on manpower? Almost down. Sweden is doing a little bit better. All right, I think we're going to not engage in that army. I think this is where we're going to end this episode. Thank you so much for watching. Please make sure to like, subscribe, and comment down below. I'll see you in the next episode.